everybody, it's Stacy again. I'm going to make this birthday card. And what I made this out of was um, paper tray ink dies. They actually cut out the ice cream and the ice cream cone. So all you have to do is choose your decorative paper or solid color uh, cardstock, put the die down and either run it through your Sizzix or your um, uh, Cricut or your uh, Cuddlebug. I used the Cuddlebug, I don't have the other one. And then I used, for the sentiment, I used Birthday Basics from Paper Tray Ink. It's a whole bunch of birthday sentiments. And um, I use this all the time, as you can see, all the, the stain on my stamps. So very, very simple card. I used a um, one of the mini books. I don't know where my mini book went, which one I chose, but it was something like this. And you can get these anywhere. I like the double-sided, so you can use uh, both sides of it. Lots to choose from. I uh, cut this out a while ago and I never made the video, so I apologize, but it's one of the mini books. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. It's very, very, very simple. So you need to start with your card base, which I get the ones that are already um, perforated. And I just fold that in half. I buy that in bulk. And then it, it's from here, it's just layering. And you could do edging. I did edging on the um, other card, which I like it because it gives it dimension. And I just chose a brown because the sentiment is brown. So get out your brown ink, maybe. And then I just use an eyeshadow applicator because I can buy these in bulk and uh, they're really inexpensive. And I don't feel bad throwing them away when they're, they're done. Very, very simple card. But uh, it has nice dimension in both the edging of the ink, what I'm doing now, and also the, um, the part in the middle is popped up with dimensionals, which I like that look that gives it a nice, a nice look. This is one of those clean cards I like doing. Very simple, but very clean. The longest thing that takes you, it's a lot of cutting, but the longest thing that, that um, takes to do this is what I'm doing now is the edging of the paper. So those two get glued together. And then these two, and this paper is from Paper Tray Ink as well. This is their multicolored um, package that they sell. I love their card is, their cardstock is really nice and thick. It's um, really good quality. And as you can see, it's, it's dyed through. I don't know if you could see that very well, but see how you don't see white in the middle? It's dyed all the way through, which is great. You want that. So if I didn't do the edging, what I'm doing now, you'd be able to still see the blue through the edge when you cut it, and I like that. Usually I just buy my cardstock from Michaels, but this I love that color, so I bought a um, package of the multicolored, and, and it goes well with the decorative paper I chose. Get your ice cream cone. And if you could, to add more dimension, you could actually run the ice cream and the ice cream cone through the cuddle bug with um, maybe the Swiss dots to give it a little bit more dimension and depth to match the polka dots on the back thing, um, the decorative piece of paper. But I, did, am, I am not going to do that. Like I said, I like the clean look that this card is. And I love the colors. Nice complimentary colors. Okay, before we stamp the, um, or before we put the, assemble the card, I don't want to adhere this to, to this piece yet in case my stamping doesn't go well. In case I mess up, then I'd have to cut a whole nother page. So I want to put this right there and that came out okay you never want to adhere anything that you stamp you, you usually don't want to adhere it to the piece because had I messed that up then I would have wasted this piece too and that would have just been a shame so now it just comes down to assembling so we're going to put these two together get all the corners Look how pretty that looks. 
See how that pops with the, the edging that I did with the brown? And I love this two-sided paper. It's perfect. Very, very useful. Do one in the middle. So it really doesn't go anywhere. Lay that down. And then we can go ahead and lay it down onto our cards, our uh, actual card. I almost said cardstock. Get all four corners. I think I got it off the edge there a little. Line it up. And now, before we put this piece onto that, we'll go ahead and put this on here. So this is kind of a small piece, so you may want to get your Zig 2A glue gun out again just to get that tip, just so this doesn't come up. It's in the middle there too. And then go ahead and put that as close to the sentiment as possible. And the good thing about the ice cream cones is said, say I didn't have enough room to do, say I was coming off the edge. This ice cream cone is quite forgiving. I can make a shorter cone or a larger cone. So I think I want to adhere these two together first. Put those together. And you want enough of the blue to be showing. Just like that. And for um, reassuring purposes, to make sure it's really stuck, you may want to even tape it. Is it going to go off the edge? No. Did it go off the edge? Which is a little. Make sure you cut your tape short enough. I went a little too far. So just all you do is peel that back, reach for your scissors, and trim that off. And of course it won't come off my feet. There we go. <laughs> okay. I'm back. So then we're going to take this. And we're going to put it onto there. And we're going to, it's not going to be popped up. It's going to be flat as well. So put adhesive on. I really like to make sure my stuff doesn't go anywhere. I really, really use a lot of adhesive. That's okay. That's all right. And then put it right there. And push it down. And then we're going to take our Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. Which I have about 8 million of these. I'm not joking. And then we're going to put these in all four corners. I like to mail my birthday cards. And like I've said before, I don't like it when it shows up at your house smushed. This is kind of a long rectangle, so we'll make sure it stays up. Then you peel off the backing. And then you put it onto your card base. And the polka dots allow you to line it up pretty, pretty well. Look at that. How cute is that? So paper tray, ink, dies, um, decorative paper. So I got these two pieces of paper from the same booklet I got that. I mean, you can buy these, like I said, Michaels. I get a lot of mine from Richards, but they have two sides to each one of them. They're really, really simple. I mean, I have a million of them. Look at how cute that paper is. You could do this with anything. 
any any of these little booklets and you can make mass quantities of these so um, I hope that you enjoyed and if you have any questions just let me know thank you